Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be for the weekend of the 10th and the 11th of June. I made a mistake in my last video. Okay, so the 10th and the 11th of June. And this is for Taurus. I will be using my Art of Adventure Tarot deck. I will be clarifying learning tarot cards using my deck learning tarot cards. And I will pull a card from my messages from the guides, the Oracle deck, okay, at the end. So Taurus, this is going to be for you. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. So Taurus, this is for you. Mm. The Six of Cups. What are you reminiscing about? The Five of Cups. You feel like you lost it all. You feel very emotional. But you will regain your strength. You will regain your strength. The Page of Wands, you're waiting on some good news. It's coming. The Ace of Swords, it will bring you some clarity. The Queen of Swords, this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius within your environment. Okay. Or you might be thinking to communicate with someone. Like real direct. But not like in an unkind way, okay? Just very direct, straightforward. You're not going to beat around the bush. If that's not an energy in your environment. And then you got the two of swords here. The Two of Swords is like a decision you're going to have to make. Okay, I don't know if that's what the Queen of Swords is talking about. Maybe you gotta, you're thinking about some decision, but you're thinking about communication. Look within yourself for the answers, okay? The Seven of Pentacles. You're working very hard on something. Don't you stop. Because you got the Nine of Pentacles here. And you're starting to see it in abundance. It's coming. It's already here. So, let's clarify. The Six of Cups. Whatever you're thinking about in the past was very heavy for you. It gave you a lot of stress and a lot of problems. I got the Ten of Wands. Okay. And I got the Hierophant. The 
Ten of Wands and the Hierophant over the Six of Cups. I would say that that was something from the past. Could have been a relationship. I would say it was a relationship. It was burden. It felt like a burden. It felt heavy. It was not. It was not the best situation. It gave you a lot of stress. It made you feel like you had a lot of problems. And now you're in your head. You feel sad and lost. You know, sometimes when we give up something or we leave or walk away from someone, um, even if we love them, but we know in our heart that this person or this energy was just not good for us and we walk away, it's still painful. So don't be beating yourself up too badly, okay? It's painful. Yes. No matter how bad or how hard or how horrible the relationship was. When you finally get the ball, so to speak, and you get up and you leave, it is still painful. You will still feel like something pulling you back. I've been there. So we got the judgment card. This is renewal for you, baby. And I got the three, three of um, pentacles. The universe is building some kind of t collaboration for you guys. So this is the judgment card and the three of pentacles. You're going to feel renewed and oh my goodness, maybe you're awakening. Maybe you're aware. You know, you're going to start doing some self-evaluations. You're going to start feeling renewed and you're going to find your inner strength. Okay. You're going to find your inner strength and you're going to have to make a decision and you're going to find happiness when you make that decision. I got the two of swords and I got the sun card here. Okay, you got to make that decision. You're going to have to go with sin to make that decision. All right. But it will bring you happiness and you're going to get the messages that you've been waiting for. I got the page of wands here. All right. And with the page of wands, I got the, the knight of cups. Some kind of romantic proposal might be coming your way. And I got the four of wands here. There's going to be happiness in your environment. You are going to be happy. Okay? This person is going to be the ideal person for you. But remember, we have to do some healing. Because we don't want those same types of energies come back around. Because sometimes the players change, but the situation is the same. The environment can change, but the situation is the same. So if you notice something that keeps happening over and over again, you, start to, you need to start to do self-evaluation. All right? And then... The things will come in, the teamwork, the collaboration. You got a decision to make about that. Oh, I know. This is just me. But you got a decision to make, all right? So, okay, but I guess that one needed to come out. So then there was the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. I'm not sure if I showed you that, but this is some kind of romantic proposal coming towards you. Something is going to give you clarity. It's going to bring you happiness. Messages you've been waiting on. And you got the Hanged Man and you got the Moon. But you see, this is telling me here, you, gotta, you're, you're like, you feel trapped. You're at a standstill. You don't know what to do. You're not seeing things too clearly, okay? Now, it could be because of, of past pain or hurt or whatever the decision is. This is, you're going to have mental clarity, but you got to do, you got to clear some blocks first. There's something blocking you. And a lot of times what's stopping us from being happy is our own selves. We, we get so caught up in that emotional stuff, you know? And we end up trapping ourselves in that. And then we think, you know what? That's what all we are. We're, that's all we can have. Gotta come out of that, darlings. You're just not seeing things clearly. You got the Queen of Swords here. Now, the Queen of Swords, this is a communicator, okay? This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius in your environment, or someone coming into your environment. Or maybe you're thinking about communication. Whatever it is, it's coming fast. 
And then I got the seven of wands here. This is like you looking over your shoulder, like you're expecting the worst to happen. Or it could be where this energy is concerned that's coming very, very fast towards you. Just be aware, okay? It could also stand for lies and deceit and trickery. So just be aware. Look at every situation. That first little feeling you feel, you go with that. It's the right one to go with. Don't second guess yourself. I've done that so many times. And each time I went down the wrong road. Now I'm not saying that you are me in that sense. Although you are me and I am you. <laughs> what I'm saying for everyone, something different works. I can only share my journey. Okay, so we got the chariot and we got the seven of um seven of swords here. So you need to be aware of something. I don't know if that is that energy, all right? Then you got the two of swords. You got a decision to make. You're gonna have a decision. You're gonna wanna make a break fit. Let's see, you got the king of wands here. The king of wands. The king of wands is a fire energy. Now you could be feeling pretty in charge, you know. I mean you're Taurus. You could be making up, making decisions. You're a leader, you know, taking charge of stuff. That could be your personality here. Um, or it could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And then with that energy, you need to have patience. All right? Just be patient. Find balance and peace, okay? Or balance and peace will be restored when, when you make that decision. It seems like everything is based on this decision. But you're working hard. You got seven of the seven of pentacles. You got long term. Um, you can start thinking about the long term. Um, because you got a routine down, you got a way to do it, and you're doing it. Um, they got the world card. Um, you will achieve something successfully, and I got the knight of swords. Big changes and opportunities are coming your way. All right, but don't act in haste. It's gonna seem like it's coming very fast. Pay attention, all right. Pay attention. Yes, seize the moment, but just pay attention. The world card and the knight of swords. And then you got the nine, of, the nine of pentacles here. This is something coming in, rewards, reaping your benefits. You're finally seeing them. So we got the page of cup here. Page, I'm sorry, the page of wands here, which is good news. It's a, you're finding your courage and you're being called to action. I got the eight of um, wands here. There's some kind of progress going on. It's money coming in, isn't it? Money coming in and it's gaining momentum. So we got the page of wands and you're very enthusiastic about it. I, I don't give you wrong. And you got the eight of wands. So I think things are going to improve for you. you. Just need to be aware that it will be. <laughs> it will improve. All right. Trust your decisions. Trust you. Go with sin. Go with love. All right. Get out of the darkness. The darkness always brings the light, babies. Always. So let's see what message from the guides we have for you here. Feel joy in all you do. Okay, things are improving. Feel it, know it. It's already finished. It's done. It's here. <laughs> I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.